Good afternoon, parents and carers. As you may already be aware, the Department for Education produced new guidance for schools on relationships and sex health education, RSE, following nationwide consultation in 2019. These changes came into effect in the summer, come into effect in the summer term of 2021, when all schools will be required to make sure that they are teaching the new statutory content. Most of the content is not new for Foundry Lane, such as friendships and bullying, so you will see very little change, and we are pleased to add new topics, such as teaching basic first aid and mental wellbeing. A link to our long-term teaching plan, the topics that are taught, can be found on our school website from Thursday the 1st of April 2021. Content will be taught in lessons that our school, in our school that we call Personal, Social, Health and Economic Education, PSHEE. Topics are age appropriate, carefully building on children's prior knowledge and understanding each year. Three aims run through the guidance, and these reflect the school's aims for this subject. To keep children safe, to help prepare them for the world in which they grow up, including the laws as they relate to relationships, sex and health. To help foster and respect for each other in difference. Some aspects of relationship and health education will also be taught in other curriculum areas, which Miss Horn and Miss Kempen, who are our PSHE leads, will talk you through in just a second. As part of the new curriculum, we thought it was really important to share the curriculum with parents and also take on board any questions or any suggestions that you've got for us. At the end of this video, there will be an opportunity for you to respond using a Google form. And then from that response, we'll answer the questions in as much detail as we can and send them out to all parents and carers and other stakeholders as a document for you to see. So I'm gonna hand you over now to Robin Horn, one of our PSHE leads and she'll talk you through some of the new curriculum. Thank you for watching. Hello, my name is Robin Horn. And my name is Laura Kempen, and we are the Foundry Lane School's PSHE leads. So what is PSHE? PSHE stands for Personal, Social, Health and Economic Education. Economic is a, a new part of our um, PSHE curriculum and it involves money, jobs um, that your children might want to uh, take part in as they get older, uh, the community and online and tech as well. So here at Foundry Lane Primary School, we promote the school's ethos as one of inclusion and acceptance throughout all areas of school activity and hope that pupils respond to this by feeling comfortable to ask questions and continue their learning both in and outside of the classroom. We want all children at Foundry Lane to grow up healthy, happy, safe and be ready to manage the challenges and opportunities of modern Britain. This is why from April 2021, all primary age children will be taught the new PSHE curriculum and that is across the UK. So Foundry Lane is part of a whole government guidance to be starting that PSHE from April. So our PSHEE curriculum is designed to equip the children of Foundry Lane with knowledge to make informed decisions about their well-being, health and relationships, as well as preparing them for a successful adult life. It will enable your children to develop their own identity and be confident in expressing their thoughts and feelings. The world for young people looks very different from the way it did 20 years ago. When this curriculum was last updated, these changes bring the content into the, into the 21st century. So it's really relevant for children in our school community. There will be some really familiar topics, so things like family and friendships and bullying, but there will also be some new topics that your children will come across, including those on mental health and how to handle their money. Our PSHEE is now made up of three areas, and those three areas are relationships education, health education, and sex education, which we are going to uh, briefly go over what each one means. So relationships education will put, be put in, will put in place the building blocks needed for positive and safe relationships, including family, friends and online. Your child will be taught what a relationship is, what a friendship is, what family means and who can support them. In an age appropriate way, your, our school will cover how to treat each other with kindness, consideration and respect. So this will inform your children about what a good relationship is and what to do in terms of if they feel unhappy or um, not safe in it. Also, in terms of family dynamics, we will cover a range of uh, families uh, that our children might be involved in at, your, at home, which might be um, 
uh, male and female, mum and dad, split parents, guardians looking after children and same sex families. And we, we will be teaching your children to respect all of these different kind of relationships, how to respect relationships online and how to be safe within all of these relationships. The next area of the PSHEE curriculum is health education. So this gives your child the information they need to make good decisions about their own health and well-being. They recognise issues in themselves and others and to seek support as early as possible when issues arrive. By the time they leave Foundry Lane, they will have been taught about mental well-being, the safety and harms of the internet, physical health and fitness, healthy eating, facts and risks associated with drugs, alcohol and tobacco, health and prevention, very um, basic first aid and changing adolescent body. Relationships education and health education are compulsory throughout our curriculum at Foundry Lane Primary School and they cannot be withdrawn from. This is because it's important that all our children re receive this content covering topics such as, like I said earlier, friendships, different family dynamics and internet safety. Parents have the right, however, to withdraw from some aspects of sex education, which we will go over in the next slides coming. If you decide as a parent that you do not want your child to take part in some or all of the lessons that we um, deem as sex education, you can ask for them to be withdrawn. This must be made in writing to Mr Taylor or using the withdrawal form that is attached to the RSC policy that you will have received. However, the science curriculum in schools also includes content on human development, including reproduction, which there is no right to withdraw from. So to help you understand our science curriculum and the PSHE curriculum and how they are different from each other, we have go we're going to go over the key stage one and key stage two science and PSHE curriculum. So you can see what your children will be learning within different uh, both these subjects. So in science in key stage one, we identify, name, draw and label the basic parts of the human body and say which part of the body is associated with each sense. We notice that animals, including humans, have offspring which grow into adults. So this is the national curriculum for science. Now, our, how our PSHE differs is in key stage one for PSHE, we name we, we name the main parts of the body, including external genitalia. And we learn about the similarities and differences between girls and boys. How to maintain physical and mental and emotional health and well-being. How to manage risks to develop to physical and emotional health and well-being. Ways of keeping physically and emotionally safe, about managing change, transitions and loss, and how to make informed choices about their own health and well-being and how to recognise sources which could help them within their own mental health. We also have um, a key stage two version of this and I want to show you now the science and the PSHE for these. So science in key stage two, children will look and describe the differences in the life cycles of a mammal, an amphibian, an insect and a bird. They'll describe the life processes of reproduction in some plants and animals. They will describe the changes as humans develop to old age and learn about the changes experienced in puberty. As you can see, we have the PSHE objectives either side as well. And you can see that they will be looking at how their body will change as they approach and move through puberty, about human reproduction, how to develop and maintain a variety of healthy relationships within a range of social and cultural contexts, how to recognize and manage their emotions within a range of relationships, how to recognize risky or negative relationships, including all forms of bullying and abuse, how to respond to risky or negative relationships and ask for help. And finally, how to respect equality and diversity in relationships. Okay, so sex education is misnamed and it's very misleading. Sex education is not really about sex. The government emphasize is it is on relationships and health education. Sex education at primary school only includes puberty and human reproduction, and not all of this is covered in all of the year groups. So what do we consider as sex education at Foundry Lane? We have carefully considered each statement within the 2020 PSHEE curriculum and have identified the following statements that parents are able to withdraw their child from. 
Okay, so we, within our key stage, uh, our primary school PSHE curriculum, we have decided that three of these statements we class as sexual education. So these statements are the ones that you can withdraw your child or children from within our curriculum. Like we said before, science and relationships and health education cannot be withdrawn from. So in key stage one, in year two, we do name the main parts of the body, which is a science uh, objective, but within PSHE, we will be naming ex external genitalia, which is the vulva, the vagina, the penis, and the testicles. So your child with you, if you wish to withdraw from this statement, will learn the main parts of a body, but they will not be understanding what these terms are of a boy's and girl's genitalia. Within Key Stage 2, in Year 6, we will be identifying the external genitalia and internal reproductive organs in males and females and how, to protect, pro, and how the process of puberty relates to human reproduction. About the processes of reproduction and birth as part of the human life cycle, how babies are conceived and born and that there are ways to prevent a baby being more, born and how babies need to be cared for. So once again, these are the three statements within our PSHE curriculum that you can withdraw your child or children from. And that is in the withdrawal form is in the PSHE uh, RSE policy. So the policies you will have been sent home and they should have been attached to the email that you have received this presentation with. You will also be able to find those on the uh, Foundry Lane website and um, alongside our long-term map um, from the 1st of April. You will also receive a Google form that you'll be able to respond to um, any, you can respond and share any thoughts and feelings that you feel that you have about our policies. Okay, so there's a PSHE policy and an RSE policy that we would like you to read. So the important lessons we will teach your children about healthy relationships, looking after themselves and staying safe are respected and valued under this new curriculum. Boundary Lane's PSHEE curriculum will complement and enforce, reinforce the lessons that parents teach their children as they are already growing into young adults. So um, as Miss Horn has said that on the 1st of April on our um, school's website, we will be putting our PSHEE curriculum long-term map. So this is an overview of what your children will be learning and you can understand how they might progress from year to each year group to the next year group. So we have three topics, which is relationships, living in the wider world and health and well-being. And with each, in each topic, they are then split into three different subheading topics as we believe that it's important that each child in each year group learns the same sort of topic, but that as they go through from year one to year two to year three, they are learning a little bit extra things. So for instance, in year one, they will learn the roles of different people, but then that will be um, moving into year two about the roles of different people, but then how to make friends and how to cope if you are feeling lonely and how to support uh, children within the same class about how being lonely. Key stage two um, continues here and you can see that our long term map will follow those themes through right the way from year one. And you can see that the, the friendship section down the side here will continue to um, follow that theme all the way through your child's time at Foundry Lane. OK, so their friendships topic will then um, start in year four. We'll be looking at positive friendships and including online routines that will then progress into how they manage their um, friendships and actually how peers can influence how they are behaving and maybe some of their life choices and then year six they'll finally when they leave us they'll be looking at how they uh, might have attraction to other people romantic relationships and looking into the um, differences between civil partnership and marriage so you can look at these on the foundry line website and you can look at them in more detail and look at that progression for us Okay, thank you so much for looking and taking your time to look at our presentation. We really appreciate it and we're looking forward to receiving any feedback that you have about our new curriculum. Thank you. Thank you.